going on guys back again with another video i heard you guys wanted another one uh carlos did hit us up he sold the m7 and uh we're gonna head over there and just bullshit see what i could come up with i honestly don't know what i'm gonna record but hey you guys want to see something so here it is catch you guys in a bit carlos sold the m7s a couple weeks ago picked up these uh, 97 spec itr wheels from hmo for a killer deal they needed a lot of love so he compound them polished them touched them up with paint a little bit they look way better. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know, his car is 4x114. Conversion. Car slowly becoming a stocky K. Stock interior. Uh, stock shift knob. Stock everything. Still got the mirrors. This shit still looks cool. It looks like a baby type bar. It looks like the truck bar privilege. Oh, yeah, maybe. It does, huh? It does. I like it. I like it. Still looks cool. Some light, you know, some light. Okay, so the reason the car's even being put back to stock or somewhat stock is because Carlos, that guy right there, is gonna give this car to his nephew. His nephew's, how old is your nephew? Like 15? 14. He's 14 years old, so I mean, he's trying to give it, give him this car like as stock as possible. But uh, I think he's just gonna take off a few other parts like the headlights and other little stuff, you know? But I mean, shit, for a first car, like, dude, who wouldn't want this for a car, first car? Like, could you imagine if your parents or someone in your family gave you this? Like, how sick would that be? You know? So, this is going to be his nephew's first car. I think he's still gonna take off the spoon elbow, the radiator, uh, all the spoon little goodies. He's just gonna give it to him bone stop. Uh, headlights will be gone eventually though with time. Carlos is real selective of who gets his parts. So uh, he just doesn't sell them to anybody. Mirrors are gonna come off, window visors are gonna come off. He just sold the spoiler to Tommy. If you guys follow him or watch his YouTube, you'll see that he picked up the the wing off this car i think the lip's gonna stay because when you when you install oem ctr lip you drill into your bumper so there's gonna be like nasty holes when you remove it 
Other than that, this is like basically what his nephew's gonna get. When you're trying to keep your parts low key, but they catch you slipping. Damn, fam. What'd you order, fam? Must be nice. Something Mugen, of course. So I just left Carlos's house. Uh, it got dark pretty quick, but um, he did manage to get those stock ITR wheels on. And uh, later tonight, we're all gonna go to a meet, a uh, local meet hosted by the Overdue guys. Uh, should be a good turnout. I'll record a little bit more there because I know the video's already short. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, a little bit later tonight. You need to crank up the booth, Joey. Hey! Well, partner, just put those back in front. Uh, I hope not, but low key, I, I think it is gonna get shut down. Well, I was gonna stop it because it started raining bad. Like, it was a rain bad. I'm using a tripod. Yeah. I have to wait. I have to wait.
fuck just happened? Yeah, I thought I almost lost my car right now. when the cop doesn't know who did the burnout, so they're just fucking standing there. But I feel bad for these guys, trying to handle all these dumbass people. People get stupid out here, man. That's why we can't have meets in San Diego. But you notice it was not one Honda was doing some stupid shit. It was either like a Q, a 350Z, a G35, Mustangs, Vets, all bank owned cars, you know? And the night doesn't end. Most thing in a Ford Bronco does a little burnout. Cops go that way. Thanks, fellas. They were surrounding us, you know, but <laughs> now we good, bitch.